with our discussion on theatre, it's only natural that we transition to discussing costumes. In Japanese theatre, costumes play a crucial role in bringing characters to life, whether it's the elaborate kimono of kabuki actors or the minimalist garments of note performers. Costume in Japanese culture is not just about clothing. It's a form of artistic expression and storytelling, from the intricate designs of traditional kimono to the elaborate costumes of kabuki actors. Every detail is meticulously crafted to convey the character's identity, status, and emotions. I couldn't agree more with Emma. Japanese costumes are a visual feast for the eyes, with each garment telling its own story. Whether it's the vibrant colors of a festival outfit, or the elegant simplicity of a tea ceremony kimono, costumes in Japan reflect the country's rich cultural heritage. Absolutely. Costumes in Japanese theater are works of art in their own right. Remember attending a kabuki performance in Kyoto and being mesmerized by the elaborate costumes worn by the actors, the intricate embroidery, luxurious fabrics, and meticulous attention to detail were simply breathtaking. Japanese costumes not only serve a functional purpose but also carry deep symbolic meanings. They often represent specific historical periods, social classes, or mythical figures, adding layers of complexity to the characters portray on stage. It's fascinating how something as simple as clothing can convey so much about a culture's values and traditions. During my visit to Kyoto, I had the opportunity to attend a traditional tea ceremony where I wore a beautiful kimono. The intricate patterns and luxurious fabrics made me feel like I had stepped back in time, experiencing the elegance of ancient Japan first hand. I had the chance to participate in a cosplay event in Tokyo where I dressed up as a character for my favorite anime. The attention to detail in my costume and props was incredible, and I felt a sense of camaraderie with fellow enthusiasts who shared my passion for Japanese pop culture. I attended a Matsuri festival in Osaka, where I wore a yukata, a casual summer kimono. The vibrant colors and lively atmosphere of the festival made it a memorable experience, and I felt a deep appreciation for the cultural significance of traditional Japanese attire. I joined a taiko drumming group in Nagoya, where we performed at local events wearing traditional happy coats and hatchimbaki headbands. The sense of unity and pride that came from wearing our matching costumes added to the exhilaration at the performances, creating unforgettable memories. During my trip to Okinawa, I had the chance to try it on a traditional Ryukyu costume called the Bingata. The vibrant colors and intricate patterns reflected the island's unique culture and history, and I felt a sense of connection to the local community as I embraced their customs and traditions.